Hello everyone, I'm Tyron, and today we'll be comparing and contrasting the two movies, The Day After Trinity and The Atomic Cafe, and their perspectives on nuclear weapons. The first movie we'll be introducing is The Day After Trinity, a 1980 documentary film directed and produced by John H. Else, in association with the KTEH Public Television in San Jose, California. The film tells the story of Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer, theoretical scientist who led the effort to build the first atomic bomb, tested in July of 1945. The next movie we'll be introducing is The Atomic Cafe, a 1982 American documentary film directed by Kevin Rafferty, Jane Loader, and Pierce Rafferty. It is a compilation of newsreels, military training films, and other footage produced by the United States in the early stages of the Cold War on the subject of nuclear warfare. Both movies run at about an hour and 20 minutes with many positive reviews. Now that I have introduced both movies that we will be talking about in this discussion, let us begin with the comparison phase of this video. The first comparison between these two movies is them introducing the fact of how destructive an atomic bomb is. They introduced this fact using many newsreel clips, interviews, and other footage along the sorts of that. This leads into the second comparison between these two movies. Both movies will use multiple sources of clips and news articles to help get their point across. They'll strategically place them to help build the perspective of what they're trying to say and give it off in a way that actually makes sense. Now that we've finished explaining the comparisons, let us get into the second phase of this discussion, the difference phase. The first difference between the two movies is the way they address their topics. For instance, the Atomic Cafe will use a dark humorous type of manner to help address their topic, while The Day After Trinity will use Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer's story to help give their topic. The second difference between the two movies is perspectives. While one movie may think that the atomic bomb is the answer to all their problems. The other movie thinks that it was one of the worst things to ever come to man. Overall, I think both movies gave a great representation on the perspectives of nuclear weapons. While they may have their differences, were both beautiful in their own ways. Thank you. Also, please let me know any comparisons or differences that you guys have caught in your own research on these two movies. I'd be very interested to hear your feedback. Thank you.